papers. Oh, thank you. Brian, thanks so much for organizing this. Oh, not at all. Just wanted to really welcome you home properly. Yeah, after all the drama. Something like. Edison, no Nick? No, he's um he's had to go to some event at Sam's school. Can I just ask, is this one of those meals where we all pay for ourselves or honestly? Well, I'm only asking. Well, I suppose it'll be steak if your mother's paying. Otherwise, it'll be half a bowl of chips if you are. Oh, am I paying? Well, sweetheart, yes, because you did organize it and invite everybody. Oh, I suppose I did. <laughs> Cheers, Gail. Oh, lovely, thank you. Steak it is. I think I'll just have the Caesar salad. Oh, lovely choice. Oh, lovely choice, Stephen. Did your brain literally stop growing when you were 10 years old? Maybe, yeah, because that's around the time my 13-year-old sister got herself pregnant and mentally and emotionally scarred me for the rest of my life. You know, you are an absolute... Sarah, David. So, what do you fancy to eat, Gran? Um, well, I think I might try the fish. Oh, well, as long as David's OK with that decision on your behalf. Sarah? Hilarious. Well, it's not meant to be funny, is it? I mean, that's what you're doing. You're trying to control her. I'm managing her finances. This is fish. Oh, here he goes, banging on about your money again. What are you oh, talking please. about? Oh, all right, all right, that is enough. Uh, don't go. Oh, Audrey. Just no. blame these two. Please don't go. Hey, get over Milan. It was 15 years ago. This grudge is literally the age of a teenager now. No, I won't, because it proves it's always been you two against me. It's pretty much everyone against you, because you're so, so, so annoying. Oi! He might be so annoying, but he is not so, so, so annoying. Thank you. Can you just stop for a sec and think of Gran? She's gone. Exactly. Because maybe just for once, she wanted to see her family happily back together. Listen, pal, we were a perfectly happy family before you crawled out of your tortellini. Really? Tortellini? I wonder if they do it here. I just came back to help you all with Mum. Yeah. And get in her head and screw us over with this trust fund. That's what Gran wanted. Only because he's got in her head and yours. Do you really think that? No. Yes! Now, don't hold back, eh, David? Well, have you met me? Unfortunately. Look, I'm clearly causing problems. Obs. No, no, Stephen, you're not. You know what? I think I'm just gonna step away. Okay. Bye bye. Ciao. No, Stephen, please. Oh, great. Well done. You've upset him. And? Look, Sarah, I'm telling you, he's Scar. Who's Scar? The evil uncle from Lion King. Oh, wow. You are ridiculous. Hey. Stephen, I am so sorry. What on earth are you sorry about? David and Sarah. I could murder the pair of them. It's hardly your fault. And girls is about as useful as a chocolate teapot. There's no family discipline. Where is she? Well, she said she got a headache. Well, so have I, actually. Uh, and she wanted me to come back here so she could look after me. Now, she's the one having a lie down. That's typical. Look, everything was fine until I came back. No, don't say that, Stephen. No, but it's true. Now, I'm the cause of all this tension. And I think it's best if I just go back to Milan. No, no. I, the last thing I want to do is upset everyone, especially you. It's not good for you, Mom. Oh, Stephen, since you've been back, you're the only good thing that has happened to me for months, darling. They're upsetting me, not you. Because I'm here. Yes, helping me out, darling. Oh, well, I don't think they see it like that. No, they think that you're going to fix it so they won't get any of my money. Maybe. No, there's no maybe about it. Oh, Stephen, please. Please, love, don't go. Mom, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I just... I think it's for the best. No. 